Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. With Bubbles. Can't forget Bubbles? Yeah, play night in the Venom Garage, Saturday night. <laughs> Another play night. Yeah, I'm digging these. Okie dokie, Bubbles, what do we have in store? Well, yeah. we have picked two colours each. Yeah. We have to use all four. Yeah. We're going to do blooms. Yeah. And we're just going to show people this week... Laying colours in different order and two different people doing a bloom, what different effects happen. Okay. And how sometimes you can watch someone and think, why don't mine look like that? Because we all do things differently. We do do things differently. So it's just going to show tonight what you do with the same colours I use. I use the same colours as you use. Yep. But we both have different ways of blowing out a bloom. Exactly. All right. Well, let's do this. Absolutely. So what I'll do is put down the colours I chose. You know what? I might even use the same order as you just to show the different effects with blowing it out, how it can change it. Would you like to use white cell activator or black cell activator? I think white. Because I always use black all the time, so okay. let's just change it up. Let's change it up. So that there is satin yellow by Eye Candy. It's one of your new favourites, Neons. My number one pick. We'll go with my plastic pink. Another number one favourite. Yeah. So we'll both be using the same pillow paint, same pourer medium that's in the colours. Same order of colour lane. Same order of... Go. Okay, cool. Yep. And we'll see what happens. On this crazy little experiment. So, my two colours. Your two colours, which are... A gorgeous, gorgeous blue by Eye Candy. Yes. Which is... A really cool blue. <laughs> really, Bubbles? You didn't write on the label. It actually looks like it's got a purple twist. It's... it's um. I thought it was one of your customs, so I just went, winning. It's no con blue. Okay. Which and is a gorgeous colour. It is. And, and we're going to go with... See, I was kind. I picked one of our favourites. Yep. Southern Ocean Blue by Matisse, which is a tube paint. I love a good tube paint. You do love a good tube paint. I really do. All right. So they're the four colours that we're putting down. Yep. Pillow Paints is British Paints Low Sheen. Yep. House paint here in Oz for interior walls. All right, so we're using white CA. Yep. Okay. So I'll put... Hey, I'm stepping out of the box a bit lately with that. I yeah. I've been using white more often, so... Yeah. I figured while it's flowing well, let's go there. <laughs> All right. So we go the white cell activator. Yep. Grab the little mini blower and see what we happen. See what we happen? Really? What can happen? What's gonna happen? All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Yep, and this white white CA sinks slower. The white cell activator does sink really, really slow. I've been tempted a few times to get the straw out and then went, you know what, I'm just going to embellish a little bit first and see what happens. And that is exactly what I'm planning. Because I think sometimes we do rush in too quick too, and that CA is not done yet. No. Isn't that crazy? That looks orange, doesn't it? We've got a fluoro orange out of that. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's from putting the yellow and then the pink, pink. over the top. Yeah. It gives you the orange. Don't you love what neons do, though? I absolutely love neons because they just rock my world. And you know why I love using um, the Matisse Southern Ocean Blue with the white? Mm -hmm. It bleeds beautifully into the CA. It does. 
and you don't have to waste that extra time making a coloured CA. No. So I'm just going through here while that's sinking, putting a couple of little swirlies in. Now that um, cell activator was a mix of Amsterdam titanium white. It was um, golden, golden titanium white yep. and Atelier titanium white. All three paints mixed together. And it is gorgeous. So it's one part each. Yep. And then there was about mm, four or five parts Australian flow troll mixed with it. So you can see how slow it sinks. But the cells and lacing are absolutely insane. And they, you can spin the bejesus out of it. <laughs> Yes, and <laughs> those cells cell don't break formations up. stay gorgeous. It's my new favourite. I do like it. Mm. It's a great cell activator. It works really, really well. But like I say, it works really slow to sink. But look how you've seen that blue seep from the Southern Ocean Blue. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, look at the colours through here. See, and this is what I like. You blow out a bloom, you go right across the edges and that. Yeah. I struggle with that with my wrist, the angle I can get it on. So it's really cool for people to see just the different effects like this, I reckon. Yeah. So here's a hint. When I blow out a bloom, there's the camera. There's a the little mini blower. I take the side cover off. It just gives it a bit more airflow and it works quite a bit better. When I blow them out, I'll keep that straight up and down. So your nozzle is perfectly 90 degrees to the surface of it. And I'll fluff it out like that, up and down, to get the cell activator to flow across all the colours. And then once it does that, I'll just move them across. Rather than tilt on an angle, you tend to dig trenches if you've got a big floaty pillow on it. Whereas if you keep it straight up and down, you can just blow the colours straight across. Like that. That's the way I do it. Straight up and down, all the way. You don't have to tilt, change angles, just do, 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 do. Which is what I can't do. Which is what you can't do, Bubbles. Yep. You struggle because you have... Um, Dodgy. <laughs> Dodgy Issues with your hinge. Yep. Right, so what I'm going to do is spin that out now because I'm quite really liking that. I love how that cell activator is thick like that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go for the middle of the spinner. Another thing I have issues with. You do have a struggle hitting the middle. <laughs> Close one eye, I'm there every time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So we're just going to go slow. So as you spin that slowly... The paint's going to want to slide across, nice and even, and drop off. If you go slower, you've got less chance of warping all your lacing and cells and things like that. And then you've got me. Who reefs it. Spin fast because yeah. I believe my tube paint should hold it all together. It usually does. <laughs> but if you're not using the exact same pouring medium I'm using, the exact same colours, the exact amount of colour that I'm putting in there. Yep. It does make a difference. Just changing the pillow paint alone. Yeah. Makes a massive difference to your pouring medium that you're using too. Temperature in the room. Temperature in the room. There's so many factors. Humidity. There's just so many variables why people don't get the exact same results, even if you're using the exact same products. And that's why we thought today, let's show the difference. Yeah. Like, oh, we're going to use exactly the same colours, same pouring medium, it's the same temperature. Nothing's going to change because it's a cold, rainy day here. Humidity is going to be identical. Absolutely. That just shows you when... Two people use the same colours, but blow it out a different way, you're going to get different results. Yeah. 
You so, find your own thing that suits you too. Exactly. Yes, you do. Because so many people do find the blooms the trickster of the paint pouring world. Yeah. And I think a lot of time too, it's because they're judging it on everyone else. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to find that right trick that works for you. Yeah, just practice, oh, practice, oh, practice. Oh, sorry, check that blue. And find yourself a sweet spot. Yeah. Try different angles when you blow things out. Because that's what I did. I realised that after attempt after attempt, I just couldn't get it to work the same way you did. How pretty is that sucker? That is gorgeous. Look at that. Don't you love the way, look at that blue from the Southern Ocean. I love that. That turned out absolutely gorgeous. It just seeps to a pastel, doesn't it? Yeah. So with these, always scrape the bottom. Because what happens is the weight of the paint will drag all your colours off. And you don't want that. No, and distorts those cells terribly, doesn't it, if you don't it catch does. it? It does. I'm going to add a bit of colour there, just for giggles, because I've got a dry corner that I missed. I've got one on this side too, so... Oh, That's I'll what... do the same there. We'll just add a bit of paint on. Good to have that leftover bit on the bottom, isn't it? Yep. That way you don't have dry corners. That's gorgeous. I really love how that turned out. That turned out brilliant. I um, love how the orange come through. I'm pretty happy with that. You should be. It's a stunner. So what I'll do is I'll do a flyover of that so you can get a real good close-up look at it. Looks like someone's flipped a switch and there's neon lights going off in there. It's going to look awesome under a black light. Yeah. We'll have to share that actually in our group. Paint actually. Paint by Venom Fluid Art too. Yeah, we'll do that. When it's dried, I'll, um, I'll put it in the group, show it underneath the black light. That's a beauty. Love it. I'm a bit nervous now. I'm up next. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do is we'll press pause now and um, you can have your go. Come back to my version. Woohoo! Yay. Well, <laughs> my turn. <laughs> I'm real thrilled going in after that one. That was a cracker. It turned out pretty good. It was stunning. So, same as you. Yes. I'm wishful mixing. I'm wishful mixing? <laughs> See? Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. So, we're going down with our satin yellow. It is satin yellow. It's a beautiful colour, though. It is gorgeous. Like, it's really sunglass ready, isn't it? Yeah, and it lights up crazy underneath a black light. All right. It's like, Wow. So, Wombat Colour 1. Yeah, wombat Colour 1, yep. Now, I'm knocking stuff already. I'm nervous now. It's like, that's a hard act to follow, you. You wanted me to go first, and... I'm regretting my previous decision. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all good, mate. I seriously, it was like, oh, bubbles. But this is the what idea of the whole thing. What did you do? It is. It we, just... we argue over that, though, don't we? Who's yeah. going to go first? And it's because if we see one do something and we think, oh, now if I had this, it's going to look better than this. <laughs> <laughs> highly competitive, aren't very, we? Very, very highly competitive, we are. But with so much fun to it. Yeah. It's always encouragement and positive. <laughs> but this just shows we're all using exactly the same things and we'll see what they turn out like. I love this snake on blue. It's just the angle of the dangle when you blow things out makes a big, big difference. And it really does. Yeah. Yet when I try it your way, <laughs> I hit nothing but pillow, pillow, yeah. pillow. <laughs> it's like, what's going wrong? Which can look really cool if you're doing like the feathered edge type blooms. Making flowers, yeah, make beautiful. pretty flowers, absolutely. And things like that. Like, you can always chop and change to get different effects as you go. So, which I did many times at first, <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted mine to look like yours. And I do get why some people get frustrated because that's the problem. Too many people are going, I want mine to look like yours, make it look like your own. 
change it up. Absolutely, because that's the fun of it. Add your own little flair to it. Oh, everyone should have this colour. Southern Ocean Blue. It really is one of my very favourite colours. All right, so I have my puddle ready. You do. So it's the same pillow paint, it same colours, same order, same. <laughs> same pouring medium, same temperature. <laughs> They're only five minutes apart from doing these videos. Okay, people, here we go. Wish bubbles luck. Oh, I'm going to pop even that tiniest bubble because <laughs> anything could make a difference right now, I tell you. And even when you're doing this, like going from if you blow it by mouth compared to if you're using the blower, I found that a real big struggle at first because I kept using the same amount CA and that's bad. <laughs> it doesn't work. No. Well, it does, but you just, you don't get good. all them glorious cells everywhere. So from by mouth to mini blower, put more CA down. So. So you can see, Daz goes right over the well, the wave of colour, as I say. I just can't get that to do that. It's just not something that works for me. So I always get my ring of colour around the outside, yes. which can be really cool because you can see I've still got all my crazy cells happening here. A little bit of a wonky blow there, but we're going to fix that. That's okay. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to tie my shoelaces on those crazy edges there. And then that way, the different effects you get doing it this way is, you've got that little bit of bold line colour going on. And when that spreads out, it looks really cool with your embellishments. It does. Now the reason you got that solid colour yep. around the outside edge when you blow it out is, because as you blow it out, the air pressure is pushing down on that pillow and all the colours. Yep. And it flows out and then makes a little wave. Exactly. Right, so by where you stop, you'll get that ring of colour around the outside edge. Yep. That you can play with and manipulate. If you kept on going and changed your angle, you'll cut straight through that wave. Yeah. You have to be careful when you flow it over the wave into the starry points. Absolutely. And that's where I have the issue. Yes. <laughs> it really is. Whereas this works really, really well when you're first starting out using a mini blower or doing blooms. Absolutely. You can sort of just let that wave pop up and then blow your cell activator out across it until you reach the edge of the wave. That way you'll get the solid colour around the outside. And that's because, too, you notice when I actually blew my bloom out then, I puff as I'm turning it around and puff the middle pillow out. Yes. And then when I get that little puff around here, it's like that little pillow, I actually move on the angle. Yes. Because that's the only way I can't get my wrist. I can't do it now. So, yeah. But that's the only way I can get that to go. And, you know, it works for me. Yeah. I still get that end result of cells with my blue. That is absolutely gorgeous. So. Like seriously, that is wow. As I said, I knew I was going to be nervous and bugger up one little bit here, but that's okay. I'm going up against you <laughs> on blooms and neons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have done one or two before. But as I said, I'm just really starting out with the white and that, so. It's another cool learning experience for me. But see, what I like when I blow them out is that's what I like. Yeah. See the pattern that comes through and you've got that bold edge? Yes. I really dig that. It looks insane. I love the way it does that. So, now what I'm going to do is <laughs> spin out my way. Nothing slow about that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wow. 
She is an absolute stunner. Not in your league, but I love some of the colours through here. Really do love some of the cells and colours through wow. there. Wow. That, that's gorgeous. It really is. I love it. So the thing is, too, if you do get, like, that section here, yep. to me that just doesn't match anything else going on. Yep. But I've got some really cool puddles. Really cool puddles. So, what I'm actually going to do is cheat. <laughs> Cheating's good, dear. So, but <coughs> I'm going to grab my skewer out now. So where you've got that white patch, you're just adding a bit more colour in from what spun off. Yep. So then, enhance that a little bit then, and it sort of matched it up for me, see? Nice. How cool. So, don't give up, people. Something goes wrong, doesn't go to plan. Like, you know, this one really isn't my best bloom. But... It's spectacular. Though. I'm happy with the effects. Especially going up against him. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just give it another spin now. Actually, what we'll do first is what Darren has always taught me. Because sometimes when you're starting out too, it's sort of hard to judge. <coughs> Have I spun that enough so I've got enough excess paint off so it's not going to crack and really upset me if I do do a winner and come back the next day and you've got them pesky cracks which really upset your day. So, if we just scrape our excess paint off, then if we give it another spin now, we'll go both ways. We can see there's no more really coming off that side now. So, I think we'd be happy to pop that one up. I moved it. <laughs> So, there we go. Wow, that's gorgeous. So, I'm happy with that. So, as you see, I blew through the pillow there. Wasn't too thrilled. Scoop something off the side. Fix it. Change it. You can even go in with a palette knife and put a little bit of CA on it and a little bit of colour. And I could have just done a little bit of cheating there with a little bit of a swipe to add cells I wanted. Yep. So, that is my version of those colours and the different way I blow out a bloom. So, still really cool. I just don't get those fabulous cells right to the edge. Yeah. But I do get cool patterns in my tie and the shoelaces. Exactly. So, different, but unique to each of us. Exactly. So, that is my version. That is absolutely fantastic. So, we'll do a flyover of that and get a good close-up look at it. And that can show all them crazy lacing through your tie, your shoelaces, little technique that you do. And you can just see, too, I spit it out a lot more aggressively, so a few of those blended a bit. But yep. that's cool. I'll go slower next time. Not. <laughs> no, you won't. You never do. <laughs> but that's what makes it unique to each other. Absolutely. And that's what I love about it. If it was all the same, that'd be so bloody boring. Exactly. That is just, wow. I love the way that turned out. I always get cool centres, though. You do. That rocks you always my... nail the centers. Yep, that rocks my boat. It rocks your boat? And floats it. And floats it. <laughs> nice. All right. So, that is it from us this week. It is. If you like that, hit like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Thanks, Tinker Girl. That way you get to see all our videos as we release them. Also, if you go through the rest of the channel, there's hundreds of different videos with loads and loads of tips and tricks and all sorts of crazy things. So check out some of the other stuff. You might like it. All right. So thank you, Bubbles. That was great fun. It certainly was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Me too. All right, guys. Have fun. Take care. And we'll see, see you, you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye for now. Have a fantastic day.